What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody that's on that bad boy membership. So today is the last day of the, of the new year. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to do a video to kind of like talk about the type of mindset that we all need to have going into the new year. 2020 has been a very challenging year for a lot of us. Um, you know, let's, I think we should, you know, all of us need to be grateful for the fact that we we survived like we still here i think we need to be grateful for the fact that we survived that we still here that we we still have the opportunity to even look towards you know another year you know what i'm saying so shout out to everybody that you know survived <laughs> made it through you know what i'm saying but what i want to talk about is the mindset <clears throat> dealing with evolution you know what i'm saying last year i i tried to talk about i tried to impress upon everybody the idea of upgrade right so but now i want to you know i want to really just talk about the the mindset the mindset that we all need to kind of you know the mindset that we all need to kind of attach ourselves to moving into this into this new era right into this new year into 2021 and the mindset has to do with evolution you understand um i got a quote here real quick uh so it's by this dude named Ray DeLeo, and he's a hedge fund manager. He has a personal worth of like 18 billion, you know what I mean? So I, I would imagine that this guy knows a little bit about evolution. He knows a little bit about the importance of the journey. Once we get the things we are striving for, we rarely maintain satisfied with them. The things are just the bait. Chasing after them forces us to evolve. It is the evolution and not the reward themselves that matter to us and the people around us. This means that for most people, success is struggling and evolving as effectively as possible. All right? So, looking at this quote, we want to, you know, we want to take a look at evolution. We want to take a look at the struggle. We want to take a look at the journey. You understand? We want to take a look at take a look at the importance of what gets us to the thing that we want right because i like we always talk about dealing with women is not about women dealing with women is about you the man how you evolve as a man how you grow as a man how you develop your identity as a man you understand like how you realize who you really are within dealing with women a lot of guys they put too much stake in the female that's why they you know they get mad when they don't when they get rejected by by you know by a few females because they think it's about the particular female that's standing in front of them at that particular time and the truth is it's not about that chick at all the most important thing is about evol is about the evolution is about your growth it's about how you develop right like for example there's this this is um i wish i i wish i would have took stock of the name but there's this dude that he be he pops up on my on my youtube feed where you know those those new that new option they have on there called short videos so he pops up and he's and he talks about training through calisthenics and things like that and he made a point to say that a lot of people don't realize that working out when you work out when you lift weights and when you do you know strenuous work or strenuous exercise you're tricking your body into th into thinking that life is life is tough, that life is hard. You understand? You're you're tricking your muscles into responding to the environment. You understand? So it's like if you're, for example, if you if you jog miles a day, like if you jog a few miles a day, or if you walk a bunch of miles a day, you know, like I do or whatever, it's like it forces your body to to burn a certain amount of calories. It forces your body to respond in kind to the strand to the strains of the environment it forces your body to deal with you know everything in in your environment that is causing the strain that is causing the the um the pain right or the discomfort right and so what what happens is through continuous <clears throat> through the through the con the continuous choice to put yourself through strenuous and uncomfortable situation situations your body chooses your body has no choice but to respond 
you understand so therefore that's what happens with your body so it says so so basically I, I wrote this down so it says basically working out is you tricking your body into thinking life is tough therefore it responds in kind when conditions are harsh your body takes shape gets more defined stronger and can endure strenuous and uncomfortable conditions for extended periods you understand so this is why your muscles grow or 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 this is why you get more cut you understand and, and or this is why you develop more cardio endurance so you can run longer you can you can you know breathe deeper you can your body can survive on less you understand what i'm saying but that's what working out is because we're not in we're not in the phase of life anymore where <clears throat> where we have to hunt for our food or where we have to go for days without eating or where we have to make ourselves strong so we can you know you know tackle the fucking you know uh cheetah in the in the damn wilderness or 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 kill a wolf so we can bring food back to our family like life is different but that's why you have to go to the gym that's why you have to simulate the challenging terrain you have to simulate challenging environments to keep your body ready for uncomfortable situations and uncomfortable environments right so this is why we talk about cold approach this is why we talk about the numbers game this is why we talk about developing a strength inside yourself for you to get what you want out of life you understand because it's never just about dealing with chicks i mean 2020 has shown us so much like we, you know we're dealing with pandemics and we're dealing with you know changing changes in the economy we're dealing with changes in almost everything the job market we're dealing with changes in you know youtube we're dealing with changes in every pretty much every arena all the time right so we have to condition our our minds and our bodies to be able to deal with tough situations with harsh harsh conditions so that's why you know that's why we we kind of um we don't take a lot of like the MGTOW stuff and a lot of the other guys philosophies that serious because there's no time to sit there and complain about nature, whether it be female nature or the nature of life in general. There's no time to complain about that. What you have to do is you have to embrace the challenges so your body can evolve. Embrace the challenges so your mind can evolve. We have to consider like the, you know, like the guy Ray, Ray Delion said, you know, it's about it's it's not about the reward it's about the evolution that gets us there you understand it's about um building up our muscles building up and you know the, the most important muscle in our in our in our body is our brain you understand this is why we talk about be if you want to if you want to if you want to get more chicks you got to talk to more chicks so find yourself in social situations you understand you i mean all right check this out that um that new uh that new app called clubhouse you understand with the fact that there's a pandemic that that new app clubhouse might be a way for you to enhance your your social skills your social ability your social abilities figure out <clears throat> figure out ways to talk to to random people figure out ways to you know to because it, as, as as far as my understanding is and I, and I actually need to join it myself i'm shout out to lucario because he sent me the link and everything but i need to, i need to get on that shit myself but the fact of the matter is you you have these you have these live chat rooms where you can you know where the audio is live and you can talk to people you see what i'm saying so that might be an avenue for you to put yourself in an unfamiliar situation so you can again evolve your social skills can evolve because what happens is even though it's uncomfortable you, when you continue to to expose yourself to the harsh conditions your body has your your body and mind has to respond just like when you choose to go work out you choose to get on the treadmill like it's not it's not it's not uh you don't have to right because we don't have to run for miles or walk for miles and hunt animals to get food anymore now nah, you could you could drive to the store you don't even have to walk to the store you could drive to the store <coughs> shit you can you can get it delivered you can get you know um um get the the whole foods the whole food you could download the whole foods app and get them to deliver all your groceries you got instacart and shipped and all of these different apps where we don't have to do anything we literally literally can just sit here 
and have to and bring things to us. You understand what I'm saying? But see, what 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 becomes missing is the challenging conditions that forces our minds and bodies to evolve. You understand? And so this is why I want to talk about this moving into 2021 that we have to we have to appreciate harsh conditions. We have to appreciate challenging situations. We have to appreciate things that force us to evolve and adapt so we can be so our body and minds can become stronger. You understand? So when we talk about hollering at a chick and she rejects you, that's a good thing. We need to embrace that. You understand? What happens is a lot of guys, they 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 totally want to um they totally want to eliminate that possibility from their life. They never want to hear no from a female. They never want to hear no from their boss. They never want to hear no from anyone or anything in their life. They just simply want things to go for them. Let me tell you what happens when everything goes your way. You never get a chance to learn, adapt, or evolve because it's too easy. Do you understand? It's too easy. So what I'm, what I'm saying is for us to evolve, we have to appreciate uncomfortable situations we we have to you we the guy the guy that understands game is the guy that's that's hollered at a lot of chicks the guy that's been through some things he's he's probably been through a divorce he's been through a couple of breakups he's been cheated on you understand that's the reason why he understands uh the nature of a female why because she she did do some fucked up shit to him but that's not what he's focused on he's focused on the evolution that those uh difficult challenging situations uh garnered him you understand that's what the benefit that's the benefit of it all that's what that's what really happened that's the um the the part where he's able to learn from it you understand what i'm saying and a lot a lot of a lot of guys they just want to shield themselves from all of those quote-unquote negatives but what you don't understand is that those negatives is what is what makes you stronger those negatives is what allows you to be the dude that has the game you understand because you have to have played the game you got to have the experience like you you guys you guys love watching a dude like steph curry shoot threes right in a game there's a there's a video of him um making 105 threes in a row in practice you know what you know what you know what making a not not just shooting 105 threes you know what making 105 threes is about you know what type of muscle memory you have to develop you know how 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 much is his shoulders and his wrist and his elbow might be burning after all that you understand but that's that's the uncomfortable situations i'm talking about which forces his arm and his mind and his hand eye coordination to be so efficient on the court so he can actually sink 105 threes in a row so when he so when he gets into a game he's shooting he's shooting 45 percent from three and he like man uh steph curry is the <clears throat> is the best shooter in history how you think that happened how you think that happened why it, because he sat home and 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 ordered a good three-point shot from instacart nah man he's in the he's in the gym doing it He's in the gym doing it. And what I want, what I want to explain or what, what I want to talk about going forward is that we have to embrace the difficult situations because these are the situations that force us to evolve. These are the situations that change us from the people that we are to the people that we want to be, the people that we truly want to be. You understand? Because, yeah, it's easy to sit at home and just order everything. It's a whole nother thing to, to hunt down the animal, kill that animal, and then bring the meat home and cook that shit on a fire. You understand what I'm saying? It's a whole nother thing. It's a, it's, you have to, you have to develop, you got to be a good tracker. You got to develop, develop hunting skills. You got to be agile to actually engage with the animal. You understand? You, you have to be, you have to have a strong stomach because after you kill the animal, <clears throat> you got to slice the animal, drain, drain the blood. There's a lot of things that goes into it and each one of each phase of each phase of what I'm talking about adds to your character as a man. So it's the same thing with dealing with women, same thing with trying to get money, same thing with being on your purpose, same thing with building a business, same thing with everything, bro. There are different 
parts of each anything you claim that you want has a price and within that price you have to develop different parts of your character so you can deal with those things what's happening is a lot of men we get into particular situations especially with women right we, we we might luck up and holler at a chick and she's cute and then we get with her but because we haven't fully developed di di different parts of our character and our identity we let a lot of shit slide we let a lot of disrespect slide we let a lot of you know um red flags go unchecked we let a lot of behaviors go unchecked with these females and then at, before you know it it's ye where you're years into the situation where she's already been disrespecting you she's already been losing respect for you you understand and then you fuck around and have a child with this person or you turn her into your girlfriend or you give her a title or you give her uh, uh, your commitment under the law by marrying her or you give her a child you understand and then and then now she's she becomes she has a position of power in your life meanwhile you haven't developed the proper characteristics the proper skills you haven't adapt in adapted into the man that can actually handle a woman like her you're still in that phase where something came easy to you and you're just in you're just enjoying the, the, the rewards, but what did I say? What's more important than the rewards? The evolution, the evolution, that's what's important. You understand? You have to evolve into the person that can actually handle the rewards. That's the only time <clears throat> the rewards will actually come to you. And then you can, you can handle and maintain the rewards. You understand what happens is guys, they fall into something. They get, they might get lucky or they might, you know, uh, they might, you know, luck into some looks money and status and get a choosing signal and they bring this female into their frame but they're not exactly ready they're not exactly ready to have that female in in their frame but that female she senses it and she takes full advantage of it and then you're left talking about oh yeah females is this and females is that no bro you you never evolved you never evolved that's the truth you understand and um anybody who just checked out the, the 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 video i just put up um the previous video i put up with the caller and you know he started to get angry and you know i started to break some things down to him and he started to get angry and he even got angry at things that i didn't even say he said that i called him a all types of bitch ass nigga i didn't even say that word to him i was explaining to him that he gave this female who didn't respect him too much power in his life but he didn't want to eat and then and then what happened is because th those were examples of his weakness and when and 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 for and for lack of a better word i said weakness but what what probably what i could have said or should have said was his lack of evolution as it as as it pertains to this particular video his lack of evolution he didn't evolve to the level that he was supposed to be at before getting into a relationship with that female you get what i'm saying so now he's in a situation where he's 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 full of he's in anxiety. He's he has anxiety towards what she might be doing in reference to his child and this, that and the third and the where their relationship is at now and all of these things. This whole <clears throat> he has all of these problems going on right now. You understand? And, and, and he's on the call getting angry with me trying to start another problem when he when he's not realizing that the, all of his problems start with him. You understand? And these are lessons that he needs to learn and he needs to evolve so he can never make that mistake again because that's the beauty of evolution evolution adds to your character so you're not the same person you were so when those same decisions come to you later on in life you make different choices you understand that's the beauty of evolution that's why the reward don't mean shit because you can the reward could come and that's cool and you could enjoy it and i get it but if you haven't evolved to the man that can maintain and manage that reward what's the sense in the reward what's the sense in the reward when you're the same dude from from last week and i talked about it before is the same same reason why um these people win the lottery they win the lottery and then they they go broke in a, in a couple of months because they haven't evolved to the level of a person that can manage millions of dollars you get what i'm saying they've only evolved to the type of person that can manage you know maybe a five figure salary that they were making before so they lose so they had five figures in they had you, you know they had the results of five figures in their bank account um 
when they when they started then they won the lottery and then it's back right back down to the same thing because they haven't changed they themselves the person and their mind has not changed has not evolved you get what i'm saying so again moving into 2021 guys let's let's try to have a certain level of appreciation for evolution let's have let's try to have a certain level of appreciate appreciation for um embracing challenging situations to force our evolution we have to evolve we have to adapt we have to understand the change we have to understand that things are changing and as things change in our environment we have to change too again the beauty of working out we choose to lift those heavy weights we choose to run those miles we choose to put ourselves in those strenuous situations why because we are forcing our bodies to evolve and 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 step up to the challenge of those strenuous situations so it's the same thing with cold approach it's the same thing with having to you know go out and look for a job or <clears throat> the same thing with trying to find a you know somebody to cut that deal that business deal with or whatever it is we have to find ourselves in situations that allow us to to evolve that allow us to grow that allow us to develop that allow us to have a better handle on who we are our power our our identity and our character as men you understand what i'm saying so you know uh it's your boy <laughs> it's your boy miles cunningham man i really appreciate all the support this year you know i got i got over a thousand subscribers i really appreciate you guys um you know a lot of dudes be hitting me up on instagram and telling me that they you know you know they fuck with my uh my breakdowns and my analysis and and my philosophies and you know and me just talking my my shit in general so appreciate y'all man and i and i hope to continue to uh you know to get better you know and and give you guys even even better breakdowns better analysis better philosophies better better shit talking you understand what i'm saying you know so it could be so it could be as entertaining as it can be you know beneficial to your evolution right and and my evolution you get what i'm saying so you know again really appreciate you guys um shout out to everybody that made it through this this crazy ass 2020 let's you know let's hope for a better 2021 but more than hoping for a better 21 2021 let's hope that we all can evolve to the type of men that can that can you know harness our own power to be the baddest motherfuckers in 2021 you get what i'm saying we need to we need to build the strength in who we are so no matter what 2021 brings to us we'll be able to handle manage and deal with that shit in a powerful way and use things to our advantage you understand so so you know all of us will be progressing and doing and doing what we got to do as men and you know making making this world understand our power and understand our character and what we require you understand this and when i say this world i mean everything this world and everything inside it you understand all these you know i know a lot of that a lot of dudes is concentrating on the females but remember females is a part of this world so let's not just focus on the females but the whole the whole entire world and how we can make it you know how we can adapt and evolve and move with power and purpose within the, within all of these environments you understand what i'm saying so shout out to all the supporters man really appreciate you guys um don't forget the holiday bundle sale is almost over you understand the holiday get on the holiday bundle sale if you never if you always thought about joining the bad boy membership now is the time because you guys are going to get so much benefit and free stuff with that just just to join the bad boy membership just all you got to do join <coughs> excuse me join the bad boy membership and you're gonna get all them bonuses you know what i'm saying because lucario i don't know in the every end of the year he loved to go crazy and, and give y'all all that free shit you feel you feel me i try to tell him not to but you know he's he's a nice guy <laughs> you know what i'm saying but shout out to lucario shout out to all the supporters check out you see that you see that poster behind me man that's that shit is fire you know what i'm saying um there's more to come you know what i'm saying uh again shout out to all the supporters uh we did it in 2020 let's 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 make it let's make it happen let's evolve in 2021 all right so i hope you guys are having a great day and the truth is inside you peace click the link below or go straight to mrlocario.com to get the documentary game kings the definition of game